Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Christiana Arishira. Welcome to day 24 of my 30 days challenge. Um, this is a call to unite everyone uh, in a, uh, to come together to help in the relief effort for Oregon heavy survivors. Uh, so those are the people that are basically at the shelter, those that are, those that are dispersed all over Texas and actually all over United States because uh, they, they, are, uh, they were affected by the hurricane heavy. Um, give me a second here. Oh, something is in my eyes. Okay, mm, feel better. All right, it is good to be here tonight and I am so excited. It is very bright tonight. I finally find out how to walk my uh, my cell phone. Isn't that funny? I've owned it for about three months now. But anyway, I'm learning every single day uh, about all this new technology. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about jobs. I'm going to be talking about um, how the hurricane heavy have affected people and how they can actually get a little bit of relief uh, by filing for unemployment and also I'll talk about the type of unemployment that is out there uh, that they can actually apply for and this is what uh, tonight is all going to be about because yes we've talked about how to send donation how to send uh, care packages how to donate water how to do cleanup so I've talked about several expert of this relief effort since day one of this campaign but tonight one thing that we cannot uh, ignore or overlook is people getting back to job people getting the financial support that they need as far as unemployment because disaster is the only thing that we, we know that have turned somebody that have never applied for disaster into a temporary, um, what do they call it? Basically, they turn them to a temporary poor, poor man or woman for temporary. So no matter what you think you have, if you get hit by a major disaster and everything you have is basically all wiped out, then you turn to somebody that has to go, um, you know, apply for financial aid or financial support in order for you to be able to support your family. So tonight I'm going to talk about that and, uh, unemployment. And the reason I'm talking about unemployment because one of the questions provided by Vibes actually asks, in, you know, quite, you know, this question was in regards to how can people that are without jobs apply for jobs. Okay, let me actually, I want to read, I like to read the question verbatim on how they posted it. So when I answer it, you can actually see the relations and to see if I truly answer the questions the way you want to hear it or the way that it can actually help those people out there and they can actually apply. All right, they posted, this is question 18 of the 31 questions posted by Vibes. And this question is, can those that lost their job apply for unemployment? It's a question. So there's a lot of people at the shelter right now wondering, okay, can I apply for an unemployment? The simple answer is yes, you can apply excuse me, for, for an unemployment, um, unemployment, yeah, a benefit. You can apply for it. All right. The um, Texas Workforce Commissions actually have a special uh, unemployment, um, unemployment claim that you can actually apply for. Actually, uh, let me back up a little bit. All right, the F uh, FEMA during Hurricane Harvey, FEMA expects that more than 450,000 people more than 450,000 hurricane heavy survivor will file for assistance, one form of assistance or the other. Yet that is expected based on the magnitude of the hurricane and the disaster and the damages. Okay, so according to the Texas Workforce Commissions, 
individual can file for disaster unemployment assistance. So this, there's a particular uh, unemployment called disaster unemployment assistance or DUA. You probably see it as DUA. When you see DUA, when you get, go to Texas uh, Workforce uh, Commission, you will see it. You can apply for this type, uh, this type of um, unemployment assistance. And you can actually do the applications online by going to their Unemployment Benefit Services site online. You apply for it online. However, there are a few documents that you have to send in. Okay. I think uh, the document that you have to send in are, bear with me here. I wrote a lot of things down and I want to make sure I'm giving you the right information. All right. Once you go online and apply for this uh, unemployment assistance benefit, then you have to basically uh, gather up your social security card, you know, card. you have to, yes, basically a copy of your social security card, a copy of, the, of your most recent federal income tax. You have to include it with it and you have to basically provide supporting documents that, that shows that you were working before the hurricane eat. So, and the good thing is that these, um, these disaster unemployment assistance is not just for people that are, that lost their job. It is also for people that are self-employed. You have your own business and because the hurricane hit, everything was wiped out. You can actually go to online to the Texas Workforce Commission and actually apply for these, uh, unemployment assistance as well. This is a part of relief that some people, you know, some people really need at these present times in their life. Hey, how are you? <laughs> uh, all right, so that they need at this present time in their lives. So, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the background of these, uh, of these um, unemployment services. All right. Um, under the Presidential Disaster Declaration Act, this is the FEMA 4332-DR, all right, that was dated 25 August 2007. Under these declarations, workers who lost their job were advised to basically file for unemployment. Self-employed individual who cannot work due to Hurricane Harvey can actually file for unemployment under the disaster unemployment assistance so this is why uh, this special unemployment services is put is put together just for those people affected by hurricane heavy and also all other hurricanes uh that has continued um on up till today okay and um in, according to According to FEMA, it says, if you are from the following counties, this is basically tailored to the state of Texas, all right? If you're from, you know, it's like about 29 counties was approved to file for this unemployment. Yes, 29, 29 counties are eligible for the DUA. DUA means the Disaster Unemployment Assistance. And uh, Texas Workforce Commission strongly encourage everyone affected that need this assistance to apply for it. So they strongly encourage you. So don't say, no, I don't want to. If you need it, please apply for it. Yeah, at least this is what, what you, you know, this is your entitlement at this time. And the government is willing to help you during this hard time until you can get back on your feet. But of course, they request, they're going to require some document from you and they're going to require that once you go online and apply for these uh, unemployment assistance, you must send in all the required document within 21 days of filing. Yes, 21 days. Um, the county, some of the counties that I was talking about earlier are Liberty Counties, uh, Manta Gota, Gota Counties. Uh, let me apologize if I messed up uh, the name of some of these counties, but um, they have Refugian, Refu, Ref, 
Refugio counties, San Patricio County, excuse me, Victoria County, Watton County, Fort Bain County, Calhoun County, and so forth. Altogether, 29 counties can actually go ahead. People within that 29 county can go ahead and file for the DUA if they need assistance, if they lost their job or their uh, businesses, small businesses during Hurricane Harvey. All right. Uh, another thing I want to put out is I think I wrote down the address that you can actually send this information to. Yes. Once you file online, please gather your social security uh, card, a copy of your tax ID and a proof that you were working before the hurricane. Gather them all together and um, mail it to support, surface Dep uh, support services department. Attention DUA. 101 East 15th Street and this is the North Lamar Austin Texas and the zip code is 78778-001 all right but if you don't want to if you do not want to mail it and you prefer to fax this document to the uh, to the DUA office you can also fax it to 512 936 Three two five zero. Again, it's nine five one two. Excuse me, five one two nine three six three two five zero. This is where you can actually send this in. Uh, send all your document, and they will process it speedily and contact you if they have any question. So, um, so here you here you have it. This is how you can apply for the disaster unemployment assistance, but let me put this out as well okay initially they placed the deadline to file uh, for dua for 27 september today is the 22nd of september so the deadline that was posted online on uh, twc that's the texas workforce commission's website says 27 september but recently they extended that time to the they extended the deadline to 31 October. Yes. So it says the deadline has been extended to 31 October. So that gives you extra months plus to apply. And that gives you extra month plus to gather your document. If you find yourself at the shelter and you don't know where your uh any of your document is, you can basically request a copy of your tax uh tax uh federal tax tax uh document excuse me yeah your federal income tax document you can request a copy of it by going to uh, the irs website that's www.irs.gov you can request a copy of your tax transcript that can be one of them and for your social security card of course you can go back to the social security website and request another copy of your social security card if the one that you have has been misplaced or damaged uh, due to the uh, flooding in uh, in Houston, Texas, so that those are the two vital document that you're gonna need apart from a proof of employment. So a proof of employment is easy. You can request a proof of um, uh, employment from your supervisor. If your company, uh, if if your supervisor or your employer is still available, just call them, tell them to write you a letter, and then attach that letter to to your uh, to the rest of the document and fax in, fax it in or mail it in to the DUA uh, office. All right, that is uh, all I have for you tonight. But before I closed up, I want to give you the POC number. In case you have an, if you have any questions or any concern or you don't understand how to um, navigate the website, that is the TWC website uh, under the Employment Benefit Services. If you don't know how to navigate it, you need to call Mrs. Lisa Gwen. Yes, her name is Lisa Gwen, and her number is five one two. Four six three eight five five six five one two four six three eight five five six, or 
you can call uh or you can call the twc that's the texas workforce commission web uh direct line at 512-463-8942 calling this number someone will pick up the phone to help you out so that 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 that's all you need to to file for you you can do it at the comfort of your home go online and log in or uh, even at the shelter you can do it on your on your on your computer on your ipad apply online gather the document together either fax it go to the local library if the library is open fax it to them or if you don't want to fax it you can always mail it to the address that i put out uh, earlier that is all I have for you today. I hope this benefits somebody out there. And please share this video, like it, and tag somebody. Post it on uh, on different group group uh, group pages on Facebook. You know, especially those pertaining to Texas, Florida, now Puerto Rico, because many of these people can benefit from it. Yes, all these, you know, many of the counties that, that are listed today all come from Texas. But if you go to FEMA website, you can actually find out more information on how to apply for the same disaster unemployment throughout the state that were affected by hurricanes in the recent months. All right. I'd like to hear from you all. So if you can post some comments and let me know. Uh, you know what you think about all this video what do you think about all these uh 30 days the challenge informations that i'm putting out and if you know somebody that i've actually benefited from all my videos since day one please let me know as well this is a good things to know because i want to make sure that people are actually benefiting from all this information i'm putting out and i really do hope so so but you you know i cannot do it without uh, by myself i need your help so please help share, like, and tag somebody. Thank you again. And this video will be on my YouTube page by noon tomorrow. If you have any questions, feel free to message me directly. Thanks again for all of you that are on the line tonight. I appreciate it. Come back again tomorrow for day 25. Thank you and God bless. Good night.